All right, guys, and welcome back. It's really, really good to see you. Sorry, that's all I had at the beginning. It's it's the we the water wheel. You see, oh, never mind. It, it doesn't. It's not funny if I have to explain it. Thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna get straight in to a brand new story quest today, because I'm kind of ca I'm catching up. Well, I'm kind of racing toward the end here because. I have a couple of things on my mind. We've got a couple of good new games coming at the end of April. Uh, sorry, even... Oh, is it the end of... Yeah, the end of April. Two, and then one in May. Uh, you probably guess what they're going to be. They are some pretty big AAA kind of games. Um, and I can't wait to play them. Lodgox Loyalty. Now, what bothers me about this quest is its title alone. Makes me question. Do we have to question his loyalty? Apparently, we're just going to go pressing ahead, foolhardy style. Let's see what we can uh, uncover about the truth. Will he be a turncoat? We'll find out. Oh, hello. Too quiet, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm just going to, just going to, I'm just going to walk on past you. Okay, he doesn't like that. Rock and his crew are in there. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Damn it. Must be inside already. Do I just go in? Yeah, we can just go in. We'll, we'll deal with the troll another time. I'm done with troll fights. I make them look too easy. <laughs> look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong. Something seems very right to me. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. Yes, you do. Your wits and your sh Never mind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, where is the invisibility cloak when you need one? I think we can get behind this guy. I'm famished. Petrangus to tell us. Oh, yes. Totally. How nice of you, Fiddle. Place it. Couldn't bring <laughs> Oh, we wrap that up pretty swiftly. Revelio. Okay, I think that was just that. I think that pop up was just I've defeated ninety three out of a hundred to get my next challenge met. Goblins, that is. Now, what do we have here? Complex mechanism. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Oh, we're going on a ride now. Hold on a second. Can we get in this door? Because there was something behind the door. There is something behind there. Uh, maybe on the way back. Oh yes, Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Yeah, yeah. It's a good job we don't have to steer, isn't it? Something seems wrong. How deep will this take? Red Rock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? That has to be the end up ahead. That has to be the end up ahead. This guy is quite astute, isn't he? He's quite, he's quite shrewd. Revelio. Oh, so, Nobbly, Nobbly Cock is somewhere inside here. I've given up trying to get his name right. It's going to be another one of these, isn't it? Another one where we have to give it a good pumping. means I think I'm gonna have to access access the Akio these pipes go which I don't currently have oh, I, f I flipped it out for flipendo let me get that guy let me get that guy back in my skill set Revelio Revelio it's the only Italian spell I know hmm. okay Accio. Come back over here. That gave us the means Revelio. to come back. This is a big old room and a big old puzzle, I'm sure. Enjoy suffering, do you? Okay. Reckon we can get away with a bit of stealth? Probably not. Yeah, that guy's a little suspicious. Oh, 
Do you know what? I can't be bothered. Whoa! What was that? See ya. Now I had someone in the uh, comments say, "Do I? Why do I never use the the dark magic?" So I thought, well, oh, sorry, the uh, the ancient magic, I should say. So I thought I'd just show you. I do use it. I just kind of save it up. And thanks for saying that you're enjoying the series, by the way. Yep, tremendously. That was a good little battle. So yeah, I kind of save them up because I feel like I'm I'm gonna run out of uh, the ancient magic when I need it for something a little bigger than these than these guys. Okay, I think this one is to get it is to get it up. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to do some spell flipping again. All right, let's uh, stick that there. Levioso. And oh, I think it might be a little far away from the edge. I'll try it. Go on, son. There you go. Hmm. Here. Ah, Lo Hamora. Do Lohamora. I have level three? Oh, I do have level three. I didn't even know I had it yet. Man, I thought I, I was avoiding the level threes for some time. Makes me think I've got to go back. There are so many left in the game. There better be something good in here. There it is. Rebellion. Hmm. Okay, I get it, I get it. Confirming. I should rename that Kaboomba or something, you know? Confringo. Sorry, I know it's supposed to be Latin. Probably means to blow up. <laughs> Just blow up. Keep it clean, people. Right. Now they're shouting around here. I can't see where they are. They must either above or below. Oh, they're below. Well, below me. Alright, that's where we gotta go. But not before we've explored in here. Revelio. Yeah, okay. Just just stuff. Stuff and more stuff. Is that it? Nope, not quite. Right, I think we've got a couple of victims around the corner. Or are they downstairs as well? They might be. Hmm, what do you do? Wait a second. That is definitely moving. Uh What do you how do I Oh look at that Do I just bombard it? That'll do I've been rumbled. Revelio Oh is the other side of that door we were just looking at, I think. Something like it. Anyway, that's enough of that. I mean, they're good for the... Ooh. Good for cosmetics. We have a move... Oh! It's all good. Okay, we're back where we were. Excellent. Well, worth finding what was out there. Whoa. Whoa Easy now. Wait till the fools see the world crumble beneath their feet, he says. What does he mean? Okay. Try and 
deal with these guys. As always, That's starting. I only hope Lodgott doesn't cross paths with him. With a little stealth. But any finishing off, no doubt, without it. Okay. You can't stop us. What was that? Say it again. Couldn't hear you over the sound of the exploding friend. Don't Say do that again, I beg you. This will not be another setback like Feldcroft. Hold true to our plan. Oh god, I'm, again, I'm looking at my spell set. Such an annoying mechanism. Okay, who's next? Oh yeah, he's done. Petrificus Totalis. Who did that? Who Petrificus? Whom? Revelio. Now, oh, just a couple of chests. Uh, ah, okay. Incendium should be more pumping. These flames. Right, a lift up there, but something down here as well. This is great. I quite like this adventure. Revelio. Confringo. Ah, that's all there is. Alright. Catch a lift. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Loggot does. so much cash now actually I went just before I started recording I went to uh, one of the shops and sold a load of stuff but I also bought some of the animal bits. Another drill oh, holy is complete. complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. I gotta be honest I'm disappointed with that speech. It was hard. Oh my god, this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be special. Can we Petrificus Totalis the, the troll? Is that even a thing? I have to try. Or at least I have to sneak behind him and find out. We've got anvils and exploding barrels in here. How long for a bacon and mushroom Petrificus Totalis? Yeah, it works, but it doesn't really do much. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. He didn't see you. Oh, he saw you. All right, we rumbled. Time for a scrap. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did you reach me from there? That's ridiculous. All right, that's not so ridiculous. I get that one. All right, let's thin the herd. Oh, I thought I was aiming at the little guy. What was that? All right, that's one out of the way. One more out of the way. There you go. There's the ancients. No! Ah. I will make you pay. Saving. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, 
Come on. There it is. Right, the guy up top is gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Got caught in the middle of a spell. A nasty spell. There it is. <laughs> no way! All right, that was that was a little sad, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, time for more punishments. Uh, well, we're using whatever we can. Anything else? Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. I like the way we're talking about what's going to happen after we've killed the troll. Come on, big fella. That's not... That's not... That's not good. Alright, alright. A few more things I can chuck at you. I potatoed too soon. There you go. That's it. See, it just takes one for me to get my confidence back. We're done. We are done. Revelio. Oh, I thought that was going to be uh, a tricky fight. It turned out to be true. What do we do with you things? Okay. Confringo. Oh yeah, that'll that'll do. Just stop that drill. Maybe I shouldn't have been stood underneath it. You. That is unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok, come to make amends, little brother. Brother? I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Now we know. Now we know why it was called Lobbly Cox's it Loyalty. You knew! You knew where it was! Are you alright? I will never understand you, Lord Gok. So gullible. That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragbore's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind. <sighs> Whoa! Tell you what, Ranrock is a piece of work. But good to see Rookwood and Ranrock. I told you, no honor amongst thieves. What about <sighs> poor Lord Gok? Limp, Limp Gok. Dead by his brother's hand. 
No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. I didn't realize until now. Perhaps I'd, I was supposed to know. I didn't realize they were brothers all this time. That was, that was really cool. Now to get out of this blasted place. Excuse me, I'm talking. As soon as he heard that was the, uh, the last journal. Was it Brag, Brag, Braglock? Brag, Bur, Bragbuzz? Last, whatever. Anyway, the last journal. His face turned instantly. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Let's give them the good news. I no longer have to pronounce Snoblock's name badly again. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. Yeah. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Oh, there, of course, there's one more trial to do, isn't there? The fourth keeper's trial. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbull's journals. He killed Loggok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I see. What were you containing? Oh, Isadora told him. Ooh. I don't suppose it hurts me to tell them, but why would I have the option not to? I'm going to take a chance. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. And that the means... trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Oh, damn it. I haven't really been practicing that much. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. Interesting. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Interesting, isn't it? I wonder whether, like, we're ever going to tell the other tutors, the other teachers at Hogwarts, what we've been up to. It would be interesting. I, maybe that, maybe that's the way the story ends. That nobody ever really knows. Only Professor Fig, and obviously me, and you guys watching. <laughs> uh, now, the final keepers trial. I'll save that for another episode. So. Uh, what I want to do, what do I want to do? Uh, there's a couple of conversations here. Now, we haven't spoke to Poppy Sweetie for a while. Um, remember we talked about the dragon egg? I'm quite curious to see if there's any more. Um, but yeah, there's also, I was talking about other games coming, um, but I wanted to leave a kind of gap. I was so tempted by to play Resident Evil, uh, 4, the, the remake. But, um... It's not like her to forget. Just too much coming up, and I don't want to be wrapped into that. While I also am trying to get back to do the Witcher Witcher Three DLCs. Oh, there's so many games and so little time. 
And I don't want to miss the release dates of some of these things because if, if I do, I, I, you guys will have watched them Archie or somebody else doing them. And I can't have that. From now on. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Okay, this already feels so much more light-hearted than what we've just been through, doesn't it? Almost painfully so. Uh, what was your grand sending you, apart from a package in the post? What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. For the measles? A bad case of the measles? Uh, what's your, what's your grand researching then? Okay. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. <laughs> that sounds painful. Um, alright, you said you had news about the dragon. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Um, oh, this could be important. How do you track a dragon's flight? How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Now, that actually sounded obvious. I thought there was going to be some magical quality. She's just a good tracker. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Damn right. Of course. Shall we leave now? I want to see right. more dragons. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Hell yes, let's go. Let's hope it's not on foot. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. When Shall you are we see a poacher. if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Uh, yeah, it sounds perfectly simple, doesn't it? Um, now, the, the worrying part... Would, I'm alright going as long as you hold the egg. Because she might see one of us with it and instantly think, you're the one that stole my egg, I'm going to burn you. And to be fair, Poppy, sweetie... It's not going to be me. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Uh, why not keep it? Well, it's because it's not ours. We're not going to even ask that question. Uh, where precisely are we taking it? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll find right. out in a minute. Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Damn it. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. Let's go. I like I like that she cares about the dragon. Okay. There I'll... she is. Above us. Oh wow. She did make it home safely. Wow, let's not agitate her. As if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. No? Not agitating. That was just a, that was just tickling her, I promise. Now, are we going to have any beasts to face around here? There's so much crap in my in my pockets. Oh, hello! You alright? Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Yeah, well, why don't we just go there and give it... Why don't you just go and give it to her then? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm overreacting. Oh, hold on. Can't transform. Oh, oh you can! Doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Birds Let's into cash. That, that was uh Bombarder. straightforward. I wonder how many they brought to capture. Revelio. At least ten usually. Ooh. Where are you, Smithy? Thought you were joining us in Borneo. I know you have your hopes about the fighting ring, but the true galleons are in Acromantulas. What are those? You wouldn't believe how much Violet and I made a few years ago. 
Not to mention Borneo's not half bad to look at. Anyway, we'll be moving on soon. Egypt, perhaps. It's such a relief not to be weighed down anymore. See you soon, Angus. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. Indeed. Indeed they do. Oh. Okay, have I got my repairer Repair. skills? Thankfully. Fantastic. She's breathtaking. I'm, I'm From a distance. sort of stuck looking at the bridge. Yes, you're right. She is fantastic. I want to get up close. I love how in, in most depictions, artist depictions of dragons, they've always got like little rips and tears and holes in their wings. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Oh, I thought you were going to ask if she can guess how many fingers us. I'm holding up right now. Watch your step. Ugh. Okay, this feels a little open. What is that dead on the ground? Ugh. That looks wicked. What is it? I mean, I'm glad it's dead. Oh, My God. Or just raring for a fight. What is that? Revelio. I hope we find a live one of those. I, I mean, just if not just to fight it, really. Looks incredible. Incredible. Quiet. What was that? Wait, what was what? Oh, that's a dragon. Go on, get the egg out. Get it out now. Now, how do we do this? Well, there's no turning back now. Whoa! Hey, now. Um. Okay, what do we do? We're just gonna have to run for it. All right, I'll follow your lead. Wait here! I'll run ahead. What are you talking about? There's no such thing. Follow when it's safe. There we go. That's all you need. A little fast travel. Can we go out and say hello? Oh. I get the music. Scott's got all dramatic now. My blood is pumping. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I got this. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. Like, yeah, come on. Huh. Make it make, make it difficult. Easy. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Very good joke. Very, very clever. I don't suppose she listened to reason. Who's reason? I'd normally try. Whoa! Oh, I got away with that. Just. She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. All right, you just casually walk across the field. I will bravely <laughs> run across. It doesn't really matter as long as I'm faster than you. There's the nest. We're almost there. Okay. Now, for the last time, would you get the egg out? Why is every bridge here broken? Well, there's a bloody great dragon roaming around. I, I, I don't think it's difficult to understand. That is incredibly satisfying, a repair now, I spell. If we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Right, oh, I've got the egg. Oh, brilliant. Daenerys would be proud. Uh-oh. Look, see, we're good humans. <laughs> yes, now you realize what we did. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I 
That was pretty damn cool. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. I did see, yes. Because we're now talking to each other. Having a conversation totally unharmed. <sighs> People don't give the creatures enough credit. Definitely true. She tried to kill us, yes, but that was before she knew what we were doing. So, yeah, shut up. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I, I, I'd like to think that we can eventually ride one. That would be amazing. Um, in the game, that is. I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? Yeah, I'm ready to go. No, I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Do you think they're after your granny, don't you? How could I have been so blind? What we well, we got, we got one side relationship quest done. The poached egg. I really enjoyed that. That was well worth doing. Where's Poppy gone? Poppy. Poppy gone. Yeah, Poppy. No, she's she's long gone. All right, who are you and what's the trouble? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her but she seems to have gone into hiding out of fear i'd imagine i know you hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal i'm down i as soon as you mentioned the word unicorn i was thinking i've got a little bag with her name on it uh yeah i'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if i see her of a good soul i can always tell please don't risk your own safety though i don't know precisely where she is but i can tell you that her den is north of hogsmead and although i haven't been able to brush her lately i imagine she still has the brightest most beautiful coat of her entire herd there's a herd of them Oh, I am so happy. Remember, All right, let's go and do this then. We'll finish off today on a unicorn hunt. Now, as soon as I get out of Hogsmeade, we're flying. Bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Yeah, okay. So she said wolves. Wolves, unicorns, not a problem. Let's just get out of Hogsmeade and we can fly over there. We good? Yeah. Let's go. Ooh, more balloons to pop. Ooh, balloons! So yeah, I think, you know, as he volunteered to take the uh, unicorn to safety, I think I know exactly what that's going to be. Uh, I'll be down here, find a unicorn den in the woods. Dun, 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 Hazel must be here somewhere. Got it. There you are. I see you. Come back. Now, how are we going to do this? We've got to... 
Oh, it's the white dot over there. So do we go... Now, maybe this is going to be a bit of a tricky one. How about... Uh, I sort myself out first. Um, let's let's go invisible first. But I've got to sort out my bag of tricks here. There it is. So... I think... What do I think? I think we're going to have to use the Aloha Mora. Seems to work pretty well with the uh, the last few I've tried to capture. So we'll go silent, sneak up behind her, and I hope we got her at the right end of the horn. But unicorns, being magical creatures, probably know where we are. I see. Arrest them. Come on, Hazel. Oh, that was the wrong thing. I was I said Ella Hamora and I meant arrest her momentum. Oh my god. This is Oh get let go of the bag. Get back the wand. Alright, we're lost. Castle. There it is. Must have been quite stately in its time. Come on. No! Oh we're you so close yet again. Aren't you? Oh god damn it. Uh, mind the box. Oh, we've lost it. We nearly had it. Oh, god damn it. Arresto momentum. I don't know, this ain't gonna work twice. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Yeah, I do. I wanna stick you in a bag. Oh. How do we get her to stop more permanently than that? Hmm. Arrest her momentum. Oh, I got you. I got you a second time. That arrest her momentum doesn't work for long, does it? Arrest momentum. Oh, come on. This has got to be it. Get in there. Done. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. That wasn't Hazel. Oh, come on. We've just captured any random... We've just captured a random unicorn. Well, at least we got one. Okay. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Right, let's kill whatever beasts are around here first. Confringo. Yep. I've only got two more of those to kill before we get a special prize. I see the white dot on my right hand side. Don't worry, I, I am. Oh. Bombarda. Confringo. Imperial. Uh, I'm. Yeah, what? Glacius, See ya. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Oh, is that the only poacher in the area? What a hero. Okay, well, nice to have captured a random unicorn, but we need to get the right one. Or the white one. Ha ha ha! Wait a minute. What are those yellow dots? Oh, they're leading me back into this purple circle. This place has seen better days. Oh. Arrest the momentum. Oh, I'm coming. I gotcha. Man, it just the tick down on it is too good. Come on. Arrest the momentum. Ah, don't lose it. I think we lost it. God damn it. Well, at least we found the right horse. Uh, 
Oh, hi, centaurs. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to. One more, yes. Sucked in. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium. That means we've got a spare unicorn. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Everyone should have a spare unicorn. Confringo. Okay, should I be wandering around here? Ooh. Chicken. All right, let's just head straight back. So I, 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 I think I'm done for the day, although that's been a, a quite an adventure. And hopefully, I haven't really had to edit much around this, this episode today. Um, because it's kind of flowed pretty well. So let's go back to town. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, good news. We've both got a Did unicorn. You find my pointy pony. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? Oh yes, and we're fine. I do. Uh, all for a fee. <gasps> oh, let's be cheeky. Give me cash. We're both fine, and I can keep her safe. I promise. But I wonder if you can help me with the costs of caring for her. Oh, I'm so relieved. And of course, it's worth almost any amount of galleons to make sure my dear girl is cared for. All right, all right. How about 20,000? Take good care of Hazel now. Just, just to, to be safe. I don't know if she gave me any galleons at all. Quest completed, and we got a wooden maiden for the reward. Man, look at that. There's 18 companion quests to do a load of HP. 500 galleons. Oh, she gave me actually, she gave me quite a lot. Tell you what, before we go then, let's go back to our room of requirements and um, settle her in, shall we? <laughs> that does sound a bit sinister, but it, it's going to be fine. Okay, now we've got our, our classic greenhouse over there. Um, but there is our extra space up here. Deke wants to talk to me because he's got something else to share with me. But I quite like... I prefer the beach to the garden. And we've already got... Oh, I didn't show you this. I I, I brought my buck beak, or whatever they're called. High wing, high wing. And uh, this one, who's the other one? Um, that's Caligo. High wing Caligo are here. There's a toad leaping around somewhere. Yep, giant purple toad. So now we can free... I can't believe this is going to happen. Hazel the Unicorn. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I've got some... Look at this. Sepulchria. Wonderful name. This Thestral. You can get out there as well. Can I add more? Oh, I can. Oh, man. What a menagerie. Get rid of all these. Okay, species limit. Hmm. So how do you get more species? Sell beasts to open space for the species of the vivarium. I can't bring myself to do it. Oh, look at you two. You are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, what do I get? Because that's my first thought, really. What's in it for me? If I feed you... And, uh... Bombarda. Oh! That was... I thought I was on the other spill set. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. No, no, don't run off. That was... Totally my bad. Uh, uh, oh god. Uh, <laughs> have some food. Look, there you go. I'm I'm a good person after all. You you have some as well. Even though you look hideous compared to this beautiful machine. I mean, sorry. No, you are lovely, but no way near as lovely as, as this unicorn here. Uh, go on. There you go. You have a little brush as well. Now, what do I get? Gimme, gimme. Unicorn hair. Three of them as well. Ooh. Oh, okay. We got we got a little bit of a battle going on. Thestral hair as well. I've got a hairy thest. <laughs> Sorry. 
I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know anymore. I had. I've had such a long day. I was woken up really early for work because there was a problem, and it's just nice to be here, feeding and grooming unicorns. And and you guys, of course, always you guys. You're you're my favourites. Uh, go on, you have you have a little brush, and and you can have one as well. There we go. Keep it I think I only had to feed it to get that. Maybe I maybe I brushed it before. Uh, have a brush. That didn't work. Okay, well we got we got what we wanted. We got a whole heap of animals here, four leggeds, including the including the toad. To be fair, but I I don't really want any more warts. Thank you very much. All the very best, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next part as we man. This is such a cool game. I'll see you soon. Take care. All the best and good night. What the hell is that? Oh god, I thought it was a walrus. It's just a hippogriff. Anyway, see ya.